This is to demonstrate the blue lock fails. So uh, Kleck has said that I am not installing my seat, the car seat tight enough. So I'm going to show I'm the only one that's ever installed either of these two car seats. So I have two of the exact same seats and I'm showing you that I've installed this one correctly and it doesn't move side to side, front to back. This one is secure. Now I'm going to show you how I install the seat that's not working and do the test. So I'm running the belt through the seat. I'm attaching it, making sure the center strap is out of the way, I'm lining it up with all the belt tabs, securing it. And then I'm pushing down with one hand. I also like to put the pressure of my knee just to give it to get it extra tight. Still pushing with one hand, pulling, just really getting it as tight as possible. So I always do a little test to make sure before I lock it off that it seems tight which it does. So now I'm gonna do the first belt lock. And in Kleck's video, she never does the belt lock. She applies the seatbelt over the second belt lock, but I'm going to apply and close the second belt lock and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. So showing you the first lock off. It's under, it's running under the seatbelt latches and lock off and the straps are tight and secure and if you're complaining that it's dark it's because we are about to have three kids under four and the only time to do anything is the middle of the night when they're asleep it's also freezing in the garage so I'd rather not deal with this so I've got it as tight as I can and I'm gonna show you from this side just one-handed so I think it's not moving. And we're gonna film from the other side. So I'm gonna do the belt test. So I can move this already side to side and front to back. And we're gonna show you from the top how the belt is just completely strip slipping through these seats and it's just moving and I can just rip the seat out. Um, and Cluck says it's because of me not getting it tight enough. But you can see this belt is just getting worse uh, as it slides through. Um, the locks aren't catching it but they're staying down. The locks are down. So I'm going to undo this first lock and then the second lock. And I'll demonstrate it again from the other angle so you can see how it comes off the base and it doesn't attach to the seat. So I'm gonna show you the install from this angle as well as being able to move it. So I'm gonna run the belt through. I'm gonna attach it and click it in. I'm gonna make sure it's running through all the seat belt tabs. I'm going to move that center strap out of the way. Give it an initial push. Pushing down with one hand and then I also try to get my knee in so I can get extra weight to really make sure it's pushed in as tight as I can get it. And I can grab it from the side so I always like to do this test Make sure it doesn't move before I do the lock offs. So I'm gonna do this first lock off. I got it. And then you can see I'm gonna do the second lock off. A little tricky, there we go. All right. And now, as you can see, this trap, these are tight. It's as tight as I can, I'm gonna show you test how I can shake it. It's moving. It's 
starting to move more and now I'm just able to push it back and forth. If you can see, it's running through the belt. The belt straps are just slipping through. I can pull it, so I can't imagine what this is gonna do in an accident when you can just see that it's completely, the base is completely off the seat. The belt straps are running through the buckles. They are still down and locked, but they're not working properly. And Kleck says that it's because of my installation failure. Um, and now I'm gonna show you the harness straps. So they have said that my harness doesn't catch because food gets caught in it. I'm gonna show you the end of the strap right here is not frayed. But if you get right here, you can see the edges are fraying. And as we go down more, you can see how it's fraying in the middle and on the side. So all of this fray is causing a buildup of lint and debris that's getting caught in the harness lock. Um, so it's not food that's getting caught. They've told me to clean it out and to not have food, but look at these edges that are fraying. The center strap is fraying from where it's tightened and rubbing up against the harness lock. Um, and this is the end of the strap for comparison. So there's no fraying on the edges. There's no fraying on the center. And as we go down, you can see fraying on the edges, fraying in the center. You can see where it's constantly rubbing up against the harness strap every time it's tightened. Um, 